New at 5, Governor Newsom has nominated Bay Area Assemblyman Rob Bonta to be the next Attorney General. If confirmed, he will be the state's first Filipino AG. KPI x Andrea Borba with the announcement and reaction from the Filipino community. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, Assemblymember Bonta started one of his many careers here in San Francisco, working under the San Francisco City Attorney's Office before running for office in the East Bay, taking that job in Sacramento, and now being nominated to be the first Filipino-American Attorney General of California. Inside the old International Hotel, where his mother once fought for tenants' rights, East Bay Assemblymember Rob Bonta was nominated by Governor Gavin Newsom to be the next Attorney General of California. Is an incredibly important office in the cause of, yes, racial justice, social justice, economic justice, environmental justice. By the way, all things professionally since 2012, Rob Bonta has been on the forefront of as well. Bonta, born in the Philippines and raised in the civil rights movement by parents who worked with Cesar Chavez, has pushed criminal justice reforms, including ending the cash bail system in the state. The choice could put him at odds with law enforcement leaders as he pushes to get an office of officer-involved shootings off the ground inside the AG's office. Bonta says he looks forward to working with law enforcement. I put best ideas on the table. It doesn't matter who I, I, whose idea it is. If it's a good idea, let's go with it. And um, I will have those conversations with law enforcement. They will have my respect. Um, we will have dialogue. And uh, we will also have respectful disagreements. And that's okay. Bonta, if confirmed by the legislature, also inherits an office that has spent four years suing the Trump administration. He says he will wrap up those suits and change focus back to California. Of the view, instead of being outward looking to attacks on who we are as a state from the Trump administration will be focused more inward. Filipino leaders like Terry Vallon at the Filipino Community Center are thrilled by the choice and say Bonta has stood by them in the past and in this moment of anti-Asian violence. Right now at this moment, uh, for someone who has stood with our communities, uh, his family background and his history of standing with immigrants and workers at a time when there's anti-Asian violence and uh, even uh, killings of, of Filipinos here in the Bay Area in Northern California. It's important to have somebody who's going to stand with our communities. Now, Assemblymember Bonta's confirmation could take up to 90 days in the state legislature. And once he's confirmed, there is re-election to think about almost immediately. In one year and seven months, that attorney general's office goes up to the vote of the California voters again in 2022. He says he fully intends, if he is confirmed, to start that re-election process almost immediately. Live in San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.